hello students how are you hope you are doing well now the question is an inductor a capacitor and a resistor are connected in series with an ac source v equals to vm sin omega t derive an expression for the average power dissipated in the circuit also obtain the expression for the resonant frequency of the circuit so the problem is based on the topic ac that is alternating current and the series rlc circuit the power in series rlc circuit the dissipation of power in the series rlc circuit so this is the circuit diagram of series rlc circuit here the resistor the inductor and the capacitor are connected in series with an ac source having the voltage v equals to vm sin omega t this is the energizing source which is energizing this particular circuit and we have to derive the expression for the average power dissipated in the circuit now if this is the voltage expression then the current expression looks something like this i equals to i m sin omega t plus pi now this i is the instantaneous value of current i m is the peak value or the maximum value of current and sin omega t plus pi here pi is the phase difference between voltage and current so from these two expression we can calculate the power dissipated so power is p equals to v into i now putting the values of v and i that is the instantaneous values of v and i from these two equations into this equation we get vm sin omega t multiplied by im sin omega t plus pi now rearranging this equation vm im by 2 into 2 sin omega t into sin omega t plus pi now what we have done we have put this particular current term in the front side dividing this expression by 2 and multiplying by 2 so that this become a formula of trigonometry which is 2 sin a sin b is equal to cos a minus b minus cos a plus b so by using the formula of trigonometry we get vm im by 2 into cos phi minus cos 2 omega t plus phi so this is the formula trigonometric formula which we have applied here now vm im by 2 can be written down as vm by root 2 into im by root 2 now this is the rms value of voltage and this is the rms value of current so we can write it down as v rms into i rms times cos phi minus cos 2 omega t plus phi now the second term here which is cos 2 omega t plus phi for the complete cycle for the complete cycle of ac this particular terms average value is zero suppose we have to calculate the this is the instantaneous power and we have to calculate suppose the average power then for the average power we have to take the average of the first term as well as the average of second term so the average of second term is zero because here this is time dependent so this particular terms average value is zero so the only term which corresponds to the average value of power is only the first term which is v r m s i r m s into cos phi so this is the expression for the average power dissipated where v r m s is v m by root 2 and i r m s is i m by root 2 so this is the derivation of the first part of the problem for the second part of the problem we have to find out the resonant frequency so the for calculation of the resonant frequency we know that the resonant for the resonant frequency at the resonant frequency the inductive reactance is equal to the 
capacitive reactance and the whole impedance is only the pure resistance so in this particular case we have to put xl equals to x of c which is j omega l is equal to 1 upon j omega c uh, here from after calculating it we get the value as omega square is equal to 1 over l c or we can write it down as omega is equal to 1 upon square root l c so this is the resonant frequency in radians per second we can write it down in terms of the hertz frequency also the resonant frequency in terms of hertz is equal to 1 upon 2 pi square root l of c l into c so this is the resonant frequency in hertz and this is the resonant frequency in radians per second so this is the derivation of the second part of the problem so hope you understand the solution thank you